Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am Kat Neffen. For those of you that have not practiced with me before, for those of you that are here again and again and again, welcome. So today we're going to get right on into it very quickly because this is just a short and sweet yoga stretch for runners. So I am assuming that a lot of you doing this will have probably just gone out for a run or you are somebody that runs quite a lot and you're just trying to fit in a little bit of stretching between all of the running. So let's come on over onto our knees and we're gonna tuck under the toes and we're gonna kind of sit back on the heels for a little toe stretch just to open out through that, the soles of the feet. Not a stretch that we do often enough. So you can close the eyes here. And it can get quite intense if you're new to this stretch. It can be quite a lot. So just take a moment to find the flow of your breath. Find that kind of comfortable, almost like a meditation within this stretch. And then we'll just take the right arm across the body while we're here and open through the outside of that right arm. So we're so often we focus on our lower body when we're stretching, but when we're running, we are using our arms so much. And then taking the left arm across, drawing it in towards the body. and release that arm down come onto all fours just release the feet and we'll take a couple of cat cows to open up through the spine inhale as you lift the chest exhale round inhale lift exhale round one last time inhale lift and exhale round tuck under the toes and just walk the feet up to a forward fold. So the feet are going to be about hip width apart. Let the head hang heavy. Feel this opening through the hamstrings, through the backs of the legs and take hold of opposite elbows. Gently starting to sway here. Make sure the head is heavy and you've released tension through the neck. And shift the weight towards the front of the feet. You'll feel the stretch intensify through the backs of the legs. A few more moments here. Release the hands. Now interlace the hands behind the back and then allow the hands to drop over the head. So again, a little bit more weight into the forward fold as those interlaced hands drop over the head. And then release. Place the hands down near the top of your mat. Step back, find yourself a downward facing dog. And let's take some time to pedal out through the feet here. So one by one, pedaling out through the feet. And then coming to find stillness, shift the heels over to the left, push through the hands, and now really work through the side body stretch. And also hopefully getting a nice big stretch down the calf muscles as well. And then shift on over to the other side, so heels come over to the right. Push through the hands as you then feel that opening, that space being created through the left side body. And coming back to center, drop the knees down, come into all fours again. And now take the right leg away, tuck under the toes, push through the hands and really ground down through the, that right foot. And you're going to feel this stretch all yummy through the calf muscles. Try to stay connected to your breathing as we work through this little sequence. Release the right knee down, switch sides, take the left leg out, ground down through those left toes, pushing away, feeling that beautiful stretch through the left side calf.
and then dropping the knees down, tuck under the toes, fly the bottom high, downward facing dog. On an inhale, step the right foot between the hands, drop the back knee down, untuck the toes, find a low lunge, just lift through the chest. So you can support yourself on either yoga blocks if you have them or with your fingertips. Really lift through the chest here as you breathe. Try and feel like the breath is filling up through the hips. And then exhale, take it back, find your half split. So you want to be flexing through this right foot, drawing the right hip into the body. Moving here. And then shifting forwards, uh, frame the foot with the hands. Tuck under the toes, take it back to a downward facing dog and then switch sides. So the right, left foot, sorry, comes forward, right knee comes down, untuck the right toe and find that lunge again. You wanna stay really engaged and active here so we're not just kind of collapsing, okay? We wanna be lifting up through the core, not just flaring these ribs and collapsing into the lumbar spine. So we're working hard here to stay lifted. And then shift the hips back, find your half split. Keeping this left foot flexed. And then shifting forwards, frame the foot with the hands, take it all the way back, downward facing dog. And take a nice big bend through both knees and your downward facing dog. Just stretch out through the shoulders. And then drop the knees down to your mat. So we're going to take a little shoelace or a half gomokasana. Left leg is down in front of you. You're going to wrap the right leg over the top. So we're in this position. If this is too much for you, then you can just take this stacked variation with the ankle and the knee stacked or you can just take a cross leg position. So from here we're opening up through the glutes and the IT band is super deep and very yummy. Walk the hands forwards, just release tension through the head, through the neck and close your eyes here. I'm going to take a few more breaths here. We want to get nice and deep into this one. And walk the hands all the way back up. Now to get round to the other side, you're going to take your hands around to the left going to place the hands behind you or as far behind you as you can get and then stand up on the feet swivel your way around and then when you come to sit back down you've got the left leg over the top if that was totally confusing for you then you can just release and recross <laughs> so find your position where you're going to go then into your forward fold walk the hands forwards and just allow the head to hang down here close the eyes Use the breath to really open up through the outside of the legs, working into those glutes as well. Couple more breaths here. And then lifting all the way up. This time to shift the weight back, release the legs, and we're gonna take a little straddle forward fold as our final stretch. So take those legs out into a straddle. You can sit yourself up on a block if you need to, that's absolutely fine. And then start to walk the hands forwards. And the whole time you want to think about this thigh to the femur, the thigh bone, heading back behind you. So you're externally rotating from the hips going behind you. So keeping those legs active.
few more breaths. Just settling into the pose, into the stretch. And gently walking your hands all the way up. Bring your legs to a cross leg position. Sit tall, roll the shoulders back. Take a nice big inhale. Release that breath. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this little yoga stretch with me. Um, hopefully those of you that are runners, the majority of you that are going to be doing this are runners. Hopefully you enjoyed your run or you're enjoying your running. And I look forward to seeing you on the mat again very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.